unit spotlight of the Thurios Spears. At first glance, the Thurios Spears are your basic medium spear infantry with one important difference. Notice the way they are holding their spears compared to the Hoplites. These are javelins and they can throw them up to 80. I guess that's meters. They can throw them up to 80 meters. Their stats are um, mediocre in every way. 24 melee attack, 25 weapon um, damage, 20 bonus versus large, 26 charge bonus, 55 melee defense, 70 armor divided by 35 on their shields and 30 on their body armor, which is a spolas. And they have 50 health and 50 morale, so kind of decent mid-range units. Their uh, weapon damage has 5 armor penetration and 20 bonus versus l all large creatures such as elephants, uh, horses riding chariots and the chariots themselves, uh, camels and horses. Now their, um, their, their main versatility comes from the fact that they can, I'll just start the battle again, to serve as a backdrop for the discussion. Their main uh, versatility comes from the fact that they come equipped with five of these javelins and these javelins aren't as good as the javelins of more uh, dedicated skirmishers. They have 20 missile damage and 9 armor penetration which is quite nice. They only have uh, 5 javelins but the thing to remember is that the Thurio Spears are in 120 man units on large unit sizes which means that each volley has 30 more missiles than a volley from a dedicated skirmisher. So although they only can fire 6 shots per minute, those 6 shots come with 30 extra er, uh, thirty extra javelins per volley, which can rack up some kills pretty quickly. They can both support the main engagement by throwing their javelins above the heads of the engaged troops, or ideally they can flank around and be able to fire javelins very effectively into the backs or to the side of units. A uh, pretty nice way to use them, which you'll see soon, both me and my opponent use, uh, uses uh, the Thurio Spears that way, is that any cavalry that seeks to, to affect the skirmishing by coming in and pushing back skirmishers will have to be very careful around these Thurio Spears, because, as you'll see here, I'm going to start chasing away his skirmishers to give my skirmishers the time to move up and fire. But as I do this, and I'm not, I'm not uh, careful enough while pulling away here because I pull into the range of these Thurio spears, and when I move into range, of course, javelins will start flying. Here we go. First volley. A lot of javelins coming in and smashing some of my citizen cavalry. Now, while the range of these guys means that they will miss with most of their shots, the thorax swords, the Thurio spears were able to inflict some nice casualties and force me back there. So very good in that regard in protecting the flanks, because Hoplites and other units protecting the flanks won't, uh, will have a hard time catching cavalry. And if they catch, uh, catches the cavalry for a few seconds, the cavalry will most likely be able to pull through. Now, with Thurio spears, you don't need to even catch the cavalry. You can just throw the javelins, or even better, you can pin uh, the enemy cavalry with your own cavalry, and then they'll just stay for that much longer in the zone of fire, like you'll see me doing here. So, the uh, medium cavalry is chasing away my slingers while being chased by my own cavalry, and my own cavalry wasn't able to stop the medium cavalry decisively. So, these Thurio Spears are going to bring their 120 javelins into the mix and you'll see these medium cavalry start dropping really really quickly. Another role which uh, the Thurio Spears excel in is in stopping elephants and chariots. Now there's a few points to keep in mind when trying to stop elephants and chariots. It's really nice to be able to throw javelins at the elephants and chariots with the Thurio Spears. However, when they have fire at will on and they are throwing javelins, they aren't braced. So, the lack of bracing will mean that they can get run over a lot easier. So I'm pushing my Thurio Spears up towards the flank here. And I'm going to attack these Indian armored elephants. And sometimes you can get lucky like I am here. I'm able to, with one volley, make them run amok. 
So I'm going to put my guys in square and keep throwing, uh, keep throwing javelins to damage them. And even though they are throwing their javelins and they aren't braced, they will still stop these elephants so that I have more time to pour fire into the elephants. Another, th another thing that's pretty cool about the Turia Spears is that if you put them in a square formation, they can fire from every way they are facing. So, they have a 360 uh, degree arc of fire. This means that they can be very effective in supporting sort of mixed melees like this, where you have elephants running around, you might have cavalry, and without having to micro your Thuria Spears and reorient them, they can fire in all directions. So the elephants running around here, if I was to fire at these guys normally, I would have to put my Thurias here, like this, and they would have an arc of fire something like this, a bit smaller. But when they are in this square, they can fire in all directions, and even on units that uh, were behind them. So that's a pretty nifty way to use Thuria Spears. Another way is if you're able to flank flank around with the Thuria Spears, you can now just pour javelins, 120 javelins per volley, into the backs of enemy units that are engaged frontally, and that will make them drop very quickly indeed. So Thuria Spears have uh, taken the place of Peltasts in most of my armies that can bring them. Mo most of the Hellenistic armies can bring Thuria Spears. They are a great unit and when they are out of Javelins they can rush in and participate in the melee and be somewhat effective, very effective against uh, enemy cavalry and chariots and camels and stuff like that. So if you haven't given Thuria Spears a try, do so. They are extremely good at protecting skirmishers at uh, supporting cavalry because of their increased range, at supporting infantry fights. They are, they are to sum it up, one of my absolute favorite units. And you won't see them getting monster kills, but they might get very, very important kills in killing off elephants, cavalry, and securing your flanks. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the battlefield.